Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems having to do with division of fractions. We are doing the sample problems. We did the first seven already. We are going to pick up today from problem number eight. We are going to do problem number eight, nine, and ten. After having done ten, ten sample problems that you see on page number 22, after having done those ten problems, if you feel that you need more practice, you need to have some more exercises having to do with division of, division of fractions, dividing one fraction by another fraction, there are four more videos here that you can avail yourself to. T is math, day number five and six, we did some problem dealing with this concept of division of fractions. T is math. As you know, the math on the T is very similar to what you will encounter on the HESI. Similarly, we have another series of basic math on day number 51 and 52. Just type in basic math, day 51, day 52. You will find some more problems where we will learn how to divide one fraction by another. Let's get going. Problem number eight. Problem number 8 says 12 and 3rd, 12 and a third, 12 and a third divided by 2, divided by 2. This is this is damn silly thing. This is very silly question. Here's what goes on. Okay, watch here. If you have a 12, just look at this part here. If you have a 12 and you divide by 2, what do you suppose you would get if you divide 12 by 2? 12 divided by 2 is 6. And if you have a third and you divide that into 2, Take a look at here. If you have a third, here is a third, here is a third, this is a third, 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 and a third. If you take a third and you divide it into two, what do you suppose you will get? This portion that you will get is half of a third. Half, half of a third is a sixth. Of course, if you take one third of something, if you take one third of a pizza, if you take one third of a pizza and cut it into two equal parts, each part will represent a sixth of a pizza. That's all. Twelve divided by two is six, and one third divided one third cut into two parts is a sixth. The answer is twelve. Answer is six and one sixth. Six and one sixth. Now, if you want to do it out in a classical way, we can do that if you want to, if you're hell bent on it, but it's entirely unnecessary. I hope you're able to see that. Let's do it out if you want to. But the answer we know is already we already know the answer is going to be six and one sixth. So twelve and one third. How many thirds does twelve have? Twelve can be written as thirty-six over three, which is a twelve plus a third plus a third. So this is that quantity divided by two. Thirty-six plus one is thirty-seven divided by three, and then division becomes multiplication, it's going to be times one half. Something is not going well. Something is not going well. Yes, but perhaps it is. So it's 37 divided by 6. So it is 37, 37, 7, 37 times 1 is 37, and 3 times 2 is 6. As you can see, it's taking a long time. It's very annoying. 37 divided by 6 can be written as 36 over 6 plus uh, 1 over 6. 37 over 6, 37, 6 is 7, 36, 6 plus 1, 6. 36 divided by 6 is a 6, and then 1, 6. 36 is 6 and 1, 6, which is exactly what we said. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number, number 9, the penultimate one. Number 9 is a word problem. Sometimes people freak out about the word problem, but don't fret, don't get worked up. Let's just see what it has to say. It says, Denny has 11 and 1 quarter cups of chocolate. All right. He has 11 and 1 quarter cup of cups of chocolate syrup. We are told that he's going to make sundaes for his friend. How nice of him. We are further told that each sundae requires 3 quarter cups. Each Sunday, each Sunday requires three quarters. 
each Sunday requires three quarters cup of chocolate. Question is how many Sundays can you make? Now in the in the book they do not put down like that three quarters. I'm doing it for a reason. This, instead, of, instead of writing it like this, they say three quarters. Essentially what they're asking us to do is this. That's the three quarter. You see that? That's the three quarter. So we have to divide 11 and 1 quarter into three quarters. Let's see what we can do. 11, one, 11 and 1 quarter. 11, we have to write 11 with the denominator of 4. So how can we write 11 with the denominator of 4? 11 is going to be the same as 44 over 4. 44 over 4 is 11. Plus on the quarter, 1 over 4. Are you, are you able to see where I'm going with it? 44 quarters and 1 quarters. That's 45 quarters. That's 45 quarters. Each Sunday requires 3 quarters. Each Sunday requires 3 quarters. We have 45 quarters. Each Sunday requires 3 quarters. It's just 45 quarters what we have. Each Sunday requires 3 quarters. We can, probably, we can, we can, we can make 14 Sundays. We can make 14 Sundays, or rather 15 Sundays, because 45 divided by 3 is 15. The answer is 15 Sundays we can make. Why can we make 15 Sundays? Because we have 45 quarters. We have 45 quarters of cup, 45 quarter cups, and each Sunday requires 3 quarters. 45 divided by 3 is 15. Let's do it out in academic way, shall we? Let's, let's do it out in a nerdy way. So 44, 11 and 1 quarter, we just agreed is same as 45 over 4. And then division sign becomes multiplication sign. And 3 quarter will become 4 third. We multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. We see 4 on the top, we see 4 on the bottom, 4 cancels out. We see 45 on the top, we see 3 on the bottom. Let's divide 45 by 3. How many, how many 3's just 4 have? 4 has 1 3. 4 has 1 3. The remaining one goes and joins the 5 and becomes 15. How many threes does 15 have? 15 has 5. 15 has 5. Something has gone wrong. How many threes does 4 have? 4 has 1 3. 4 has 1 3. 4 has 1 3. In other words, 45 divided by 3 is 15, which is exactly what we said the answer is going to be. The answer is going to be 15. We can make 15 Sundays because 11, 11 whole cups are made up of 44 quarters. Listen carefully. Because 11 whole cups are made up of 44 quarters. And then we have another quarter, so that's the 45 quarters. Each Sunday requires three quarters. Well, if each Sunday requires three, three quarters and you have 45 of them, you can make 15 Sundays. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 10, the very last one. The very last says that Jenny has eight and a half yards of ribbon. All right, so she has eight and a, rather eight and a, eight and a third yards of ribbon. We have eight and a third yards of ribbon. We are told that each bow, each bow requires five sixths yard. Well, how many bows can we make? How many bows we can make? Essentially what they're, what they're asking us here is to take 8 and 1 third and divide it into 5 6. 8 and 1 third divided into 5 6. How many 6 do you suppose 8 has? How many 6 do you suppose 8 has? Can you tell? 8, 8 has how many six? One has six six, two has twelve six, three has eighteen six, eight will have eight eight six of forty-eight. Eight has forty-eight six. Are you able to see that? How many six does a third have? A third is made up of two sixths. A sixth and a sixth make a third. We just saw it a little while ago. Here is the pizza. We, we break it up into three equal parts. There are three equal parts. And if you take a half of that, if you take a half of that, that's a sixth. That's another sixth. You can, can cut this into six, and another cut into six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A third cut into 
have a third cut into two equal part will represent sixth of the pizza. So one third has two sixths. One third has two sixths. That makes fifty sixths. She has fifty sixths. Let's stay in the story, okay? She has fifty sixths. Each ribbon we are told requires five sixths. Each ribbon requires five sixths. But if each ribbon requires five sixths and we have fifty of them, it stands to reason that she should be able to make ten bows. Because fifty divided by five, you see, she we just established that she has fifty sixths. Each ribbon requires, let's rewrite it differently, each ribbon requires, each ribbon requires five sixths. If each ribbon requires five six and she has fifty six and each one requires five six, fifty divided by five is ten. She should make she should be able to make ten bows. Now let's do it out in a geeky way, the nerdy way, the classical way, the orthodox way, the traditional way, the conventional way, the academic way, the way that will make your math teacher proud. Whether or not you understand it intuitively, he or she is not interested in that. They want to see that you are absolutely doing it in a nerdy way. Let's do it in a nerdy way. We already know the answer. The answer is going to be, answer will have to be, not going to be, answer will have to be 10. Because I have 56 and each one requires 5, 6. I'll make, I should be able to make 10, 10 bows. Let's do it out. 8 and 1 third. 8 and 1 third divided by 5, 6. 8 can be written as 24 over 3. That's an 8 plus a third. So that's 8 and 1 third divided by 5, 6. We need the room, so we're going to have to erase it. But remember, we already established that the answer is 10. We have already established that the answer is 10. 24, 24 plus 1 is 25, so it's 25 thirds. 25 thirds, division is going to become multiplication, and 5, 6 becomes 6, 5, 6 fifths. We see 6 on the top, we see 3 on the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 3. If we divide top and bottom by 3, 3 is going to go away and 6 is going to become 2. We see 5 at the bottom, we see 25 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 5. 5 is going to go away and 25 becomes 5 and we end up with 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is, what do you know, 10. Just like we, just like we had asserted earlier. Because we, have, we had established that we had 50 6. We had 56 because we had 8 full ones, we had 8 full, 8 yard, 8 yard and a third of a yard. 8 yard is made up of 48 sixth and a third is made up of 2 sixths. 48 plus 2 is 56 and each one of them requires 5 six. So if you have 56 and you, each one of them requires 5 six, you can make 10 bows. Right there. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will begin a new topic, a topic of changing fraction to decimals. Alright? Bye now.